do they have that we don't? An actual leader? Rip's gone. And who knows when or if we'll ever find him. In the latest episode of DC Legends of Tomorrow, we've finally seen what's happened to Rip Hunter. Sort of. It turns out he's in Los Angeles 1967, working as a director with anger issues. I told you idiots to move these garbage cans! Can we try to, to get this right, people? I don't want to be here all night. Am I talking to myself? Today! Now, with the limited information that we have available, it seems clear that one of two things has happened to Rip Hunter. The first theory is that he has gone undercover in order to hide from the Reverse Flash, or has simply retired from the life of the Time Master. With the legend set up to continue his work, and doing a pretty good job on the whole since he left, he isn't really needed, and so he may have just decided it's all been too much, and so he's quit to have a normal life. I'm a time traveller, Jefferson. I spend most of my time thinking about the future, specifically my own. And it occurs to me that that future might not involve me being aboard this ship, and I need someone to know its secrets in my absence. Though you may be wondering why he would choose to do this now. Well, earlier in the series, we've seen Rex Tyler travel through time to warn the legends, and he warns them not to go back in time to 1942. Because I'm from 1942, the same year in which all of you will bite the bullet. So if we don't go back to 1942, we're safe, right? But before he could finish his warning and tell them why they shouldn't go back to 1942, he glitched out of existence. I have no idea what you're up against. If you return to 1942, the consequences will be catastrophic. This was later revealed to be the reverse flash erasing Rex Tyler from the future timeline. Things that I disappeared, I disappeared. No. Erased from the timeline. Like this. No. This means that Rex Tyler was alive and well in the future, but the reverse flash went back in time and killed him when he was younger, thus changing the future and erasing Rex Tyler from the future timelines. Now, the legends have no idea how or why this happened, but Rip Hunter is a time master, and so he knew exactly what had happened. He knew that someone had erased Rex Tyler from time to stop him from warning the legends about something in their future. The reason he knows what this time erasure was is because all Time Masters are taught about the dangers of being erased from time. This is why they never use their real names or let people know what time period they were born in. This is to stop their time travelling enemies from going back and killing them when they were babies. A Time Master's true identity is his greatest secret. So when the legends go back in time to 1942, Rip Hunter may have realised the danger he was in and that he could be erased from time just as Rex Tyler was. And all the parts of history that Rip Hunter has fixed, including defeating Vandal Savage and assembling the legends as a team, would all be erased like they had never happened. And Rip Hunter couldn't risk this, so he may have faked his own death in order to make everyone think he was dead, so that no one would think to erase him from time because he was already dead. Uh, you know what they say? Captain must never abandon his ship. Well, neither shall I abandon hope of seeing you all again someday, somewhere in time. Meaning he's hiding from the reverse flash in order to stay alive and protect history. A sort of variant on witness protection. And when Time Masters go undercover, they may even wipe their own memory so they cannot be found. Again, this same scenario could be used if he was retiring, because he may have wiped his own memory again so that he can't be found or could not be tempted to go back to being a Time Master. Nice try, dude, but you're not quitting on us. My second theory is that Rip Hunter was taken from the Wave Rider after stopping the nuclear bomb from detonating by the reverse flash. But your partner isn't here, is he? According to who? The reverse flash has stated that he needs Rip Hunter, so he could have taken him for safekeeping to use later on once he has the amulet he needed. And in order to stop Rip from contacting the legends, he either used future science to brainwash him into thinking he was someone else, and since the reverse flash is from the future and has access to technology that seems to be able to do pretty much anything, brainwashing technology would seem quite easy for him to get hold of. Though there is also the possibility that Damien Dark has used his magic to brainwash him, as the reverse flash did rather ominously say, Well, it's complicated, but the first step is with a person that Mr. Dark met briefly in New York. You remember Captain Rip Hunter? 
So this may be a subtle reference to him using magic to rewrite Rip's brain. In either case, the result seems to be that Rip Hunter thinks he is someone else, though his old memories clearly seem to be bleeding through to his conscious mind, as he is working on a show that appears to be about a fugitive called Rip Hunter. Rip Hunter, stop where you are! who is most likely going to be a Time Master, so I expect a lot of comedic antics with self-referencing and meta-jokes to be upcoming in the show's future. And those are my two theories on what has happened to Rip Hunter. Now, I don't know if either will be true, or if the writers are going to take the plot in an entirely different direction, we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, what do you think of my theories? Do you think one of them is likely to be true? Or do you think that something else has happened to Rip Hunter entirely? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.